What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to yet another video. It's your boy Jim Graphics. In today's video, I'll be teaching you guys how to design a wedding jewelry in Corel Draw. If you're new here, guys, you know the rules. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button below and turn on the bell icon in order not to miss any of my future uploads. If you're a returning subscriber, I appreciate you for always checking by this channel. And if you're new, you're welcome. And thank you guys for the huge success we hit. 2800 and something subscribers i thank you guys for always being there for this channel all right so let's get straight to this video so over here guys are the stock images we'll be using for this tutorial and i have this frame i have the picture i have this background which i downloaded and also the ring so on um, these images are my client's picture so i'm not going to put their picture on any link for you guys to use what I'm going to do is download, I'm going to download similar images for you guys to use. You can use any image as far as you're following the step by step process. This is the main picture I'll be using for the cover. And I don't want to use this background. So the next thing I'm going to do is take out this background. And if you don't know how to do that, um, I've already put up a video on how to take out a background in CorelDRAW also in Photoshop so you can check that video up so guys we will be moving from this background to this all right so let's jump straight to the video all right guys welcome to CorelDRAW and the next thing we're gonna do is change our paper size to A4 and a dimension to landscape and the unit to inches okay so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to double click on this rectangle tool once i do that it will bring itself to the frame this frame all right so double click when i mean double click i mean double tap your right mouse sorry the left one double tap it okay so once you do that it will bring itself this way to your frame so you can drop the, the tool which is this rectangle tool using your pick tool all right pick tool are used to drop tools as you can see it's written here select position or transform object all right so we drop and here we go so select this and um just drag it over here hold a control hold your control on your keyboard and point to this um anchor point here all right this is the midpoint um hold your control and flip it this way or if you don't know how to do it so as you can see we have two here but if you don't know how to do it you can if you're a beginner you can just um kind of do ctrl d but this will kind of stress you because you need to like um start trying to like fit it to frame so the best thing is hold your control then flip this way okay so select both and just drag it to the end all right so the essence of doing this is to have a double like this will be the front and this will be the back okay so the next thing i'm going to do is take my margin and i'm going to bring in my rectangle tool and draw this way drop the two then go to your object size and put 0.6 by 0 0.6 enter all right so you can bring this to this point all right then bring in your ruler all right select and select this also press b to bring it to the bottom i believe i've explained this in my previous video so just do this to get your dimension okay so same as this okay guys so we've gotten our dimension and the next thing we're going to do is remove the outline as you can see we have outlines here so i'm going to select this both and click on this sign here to remove all right guys so it's out so the next thing i'm going to do is import the stock images for this tutorial 
so to do that right click on this empty space select import or go to file on your menu bar and select import okay so locate where this file is saved then you can select and um, click on import then you can just drag them over here all right guys so we have our stock images here all right so this is the color we'll be working with i just created this color you know so i'm going to put all this thing on the description for you to guys check it out so the next thing i'm going to do is select this background and right click on it select power clip and place it to the right frame this way okay so right click again and ed select edit power clip as you can see it's not fitted so select and select edit power clip now you can drag this way just fit it to size and go to your effect select blur and use Gaussian blur if you're not using this version of Corel draw this is Corel draw 2020 just go to your bitmap and select creative under creative you'll see blur then under blur you see Gaussian blur all right so select Gaussian blur and just you can reduce just to blur the background kind of okay so this is what we are going to have so the next thing I'm going to do is right click on this picture and power clip it inside this box so you can also select edit power clip when i mean select just right click on it and select for edit power clip then you can scale this up and bring it a bit to the side the left hand side and um, boom this is what you're going to have so the next thing i'm going to do is select my rectangle tool and draw over here now right click on it and convert it to curve now select your shape tool once you convert anything to curve it has turned to object all right so as you can see we have um our node so delete this node okay so once you delete this node hold your control and drag this up a bit all right so you can bring this down here also bring this one down then right click on it and select convert to curve then push it up you can bring this here and also same convert to curve and bring this up this way all right i'm gonna adjust this a bit so this is what we're going to have so the next thing i'm going to do is also bring my rectangle to and draw this way right click convert to curve select your shape tool as usual then delete this node all right bring this up a bit also bring this up a bit and bring this down next thing i'm going to do is select this the next thing i'm going to do is right click on this convert it to curve bring this down this way if you want to adjust this in corel draw all you need to do is select this node and these two arrows are going to appear then what you're going to do is just use the arrow and adjust it to your test all right adjust your taste so the next thing I'm going to do is right click on this also and convert to curve 
then bring this down this way so you can just adjust I don't know if you're understanding what I'm doing because this is kind of complicated but you guys will understand with time okay Alright guys, so the next thing I'm going to do now is bring in my rectangle tool and draw over here. Right click and convert to curve and select your shape tool. Then delete this node and um, bring this to this side. Then select this line and right click, convert it to curve. Then all you need to do is just bring it to this point and also do the same. Delete this, right click, convert to curve and um, scale it up this way. So this is what you're going to have guys. You can, as I said earlier, if you want to adjust anything in color draw. So just point at this arrow or click on it then arrow will appear then all you need to do is just adjust it to your tastes i know this is kind of complicated somebody asked me to send this to his email i'm going to do so but i want you to understand how i created it before i'll send it to you all right so this is how i did it it's actually complicating though but the more you practice the more you learn it so the next thing i'm going to do guys bring in my rectangle tool again and drag this way to this point then right click and convert to curve select your shape tool delete this node then bring it to this point and just select this line right click and convert to curve then all you need to do is use this and drag it this way or better still you can just drag it this way without using the arrow and boom this is what you are going to have so the next thing we're going to do now is bring in these colors and we're going to use our interactive fill tool to fill in these colors okay so the next thing we're going to do is bring in this interactive field tool. Select your interactive field tool on your tools bar and um, drag this way. All right. So select this box here and select the node color and um, use your eyedropper tool and pick this color. All right. Then select this one, use your eyedropper tool and pick this color. Then select this, just double click on this to place another node here, a color node on the middle. Then open this and select your eyedropper tool and select the gold color. So this is what you're going to have. We're not done yet guys. So. The next thing we're going to do is also bring in our interactive field tool and draw this way all right so select the upper one and select this the not color then select your color eyedropper color tool then select this color all right then drop select the down one select this if I'm too fast guys I'm sorry but if you pay attention you're going to understand this video is kind of complicated but I want you guys to learn it before I'm going to send these files to you alright for those of you who asked for it 
so select this and select this one then put a not color in the middle if you want to put in you can put like multiples just this way just double clicking on it you can put multiples of them all right so but this is not what we want to do so select this and once you select once you double click on this and this not color comes up if you select if you point at this like this arrow this one here point at it and click on it this will appear all right so once this appears all you need to do is select this eye color eyedropper to and select this color all right so you can actually adjust it adjust it this way all right so same thing applicable to this one click and drag this way and um, select this this color then select this one same thing applicable add the color node and select the gold all right guys so as, as you can see how simple and direct it is it's not actually simple guys so let's do this bring this down a bit okay guys so as you can see it actually looks folded all right it's kind of folding as you can see so guys the next thing i'm going to do is um use same method to apply color to this one drag this way and select select this color then pick a color also for this one double click to add a color node then select this and boom this is what you're going to have so all you need to do is um, adjust this this way all right so once you're done adjusting so you can see we have it's not looking nice so select this one select your control and click on page down keep pressing it till it gets to the back this way all right so this is what you're going to have okay guys now we are going to add some effects to it to look realistic so what you're going to do is duplicate this what i mean by duplicating is to make this two then select to do that select your control then drag down here then right click immediately all right just to maintain the shape so now what you're going to do is as you can see we have anchor points here so select click on it again to change the anchor point so now we have this now drag this one up this way and drag this down a bit then right click on it and select power clip power clip it inside this frame this is what you're going to have all right so now what you're going to do is adjust the color to match up what you're doing so select this edit power clip then right click on this to remove this black outline so once you right click on it it's out so the next thing we're going to do is select our interactive field to also then adjust you can bring this one here you can bring this up here also sorry you can make this one darker also make this dark a bit all right guys so let's see what we have as you can see it has created something like an emboss to this one so same thing applicable to all this duplicate this one this way and flip it this way and just flip it anyhow you feel like doing it but just follow my step okay so same thing applicable to this we can just do it here just to see what we have so just bring this up adjust this color adjust this color 
then remove the outline then power clip it inside this one so as you can see guys is becoming realistic kind of so the next thing we're going to do guys is do something applicable to this one just drag down and use your shape tool and bring this up to this point then just adjust this this way it's becoming complicated guys use your interactive view tool to adjust the color as we did earlier you can add another one here add another one all right so bring this here and bring this here all right so just make this a bit darker and remove the outline then boom you can power clip it inside this one so as you can see guys it's looking realistic kind of so the next thing we're going to do guys is apply a shadow effect to this so the first thing we're going to do is remove the outline this way then select your free hand to then draw this way all right so use your shape to right click convert to curve then bring this this way all right i don't know if you understand but this is complicated i i know all right so do this and um add a black color to it then select control and click on page down on your keyboard just be clicking on it till this goes to the back all right so use your shape to to adjust then select your interactive field to interactive transparency to sorry then reduce the opacity this way and this is what you're going to have so the next thing i'm going to do now is same thing applicable to this one select your freehand tool and draw this way select your shape tool select and right click on it convert to curve then just drag it this way then apply same color black remove the outline then use your interactive transparency to reduce the opacity maybe to 70 is fine then use your control and page down on your keyboard to send it to the back and remove this outline also remove this outline and um, remove this outline so the next thing we're going to do is select our free hand tool again and drag this way just draw then drop select your shape tool right click on this line convert to curve and bring this down a bit all right it's just to create a shadow so that's what we're creating then give it a black color all right so reduce the opacity using your transparency tool then use your control and page down on your keyboard to send it to the back this way and boom guys this is what you are going to have at the end of this then the next thing i'm going to do is right click on this and select edit power clip then use my rectangle tool and draw a box over here then give it a white color remove the outline and let's see how it looks and guys this is what we're going to have as you can see we have um like the white rectangle is showing over here so to do that all you need to do is edit the power clip and um, just use your shape tool first of all convert it to curve right click and select convert to curve then go back use your shape tool and just 
put a node here then put a node here and drag it down a bit all right so as you can see guys this is what we are going to have so the next thing i'm going to do is select this background copy paste then right click on it select power clip place it at the back of the jota all right guys so this is what we are going to have so the next thing i'm going to do is um bring in this frame so to, to remove the white background go to your bitmap select mode select white and black then you can just increase the trash hold then select ok then go to trace bitmap select outline trace select line art and um wait for it to load all right uh -huh 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 -huh. all right guys so it has loaded as expected so what we're going to do is click on ok and select this ungroup it and um remove this delete then you can just take your time and remove the white outline the white colors will just disappear on its own all right guys so we're done so the next thing i'm going to do is select and group it ctrl g on your keyboard or you can come over here and select group object all right click on it and select group object okay so i'm going to place this over here and give it a sky blue color all right so um The next thing I'm going to do is bring in the text, go to your notepad and copy, then select your text to paste, alright, so I'm going to copy this out and paste it over here. So the next thing I'm going to do is um, break this apart, select Ctrl K or click on Ctrl K on your keyboard then highlights use shift f3 to change the case to uppercase all right so you can give it this font it's called bebas all right this is the font i'm going to use it's called bebas all right so i'm going to give it this color and select right click on it and select convert to curve next thing i'm going to do is um select my shape tool select this tool knot over here bring it down a bit all right so you can select your interactive so next thing we're going to do is select our rectangle tool and draw a line here okay and give it same color remove the black outline convert it to curve and select this just shift this a bit make sure it's aligned all right guys so this is what we're going to have so the next thing i'm going to do is bring in this 2020 bold it and give it same color All right, guys so this is what we are going to have so the next thing i'm going to do is bring in the name and paste it over here then break apart break apart using ctrl k on your keyboard then the font i'm going to use for this two is called trajan fonts All right, I'm going to put this over here and bring this here this way and the font I'm going to use for this is called sloop all right so I'm going to put the names of these fonts on the description below so I'm going to leave this as black and 
bring this as gold i'm going to give this a gold color so let's copy this color over here and um, use your eyedropper to select and give it this color all right so this is what you're going to have so next thing i'm going to do is use our wedding ring here reduce the size and um, just put it by the side of the name and bring in the dates reduce and place it over here change the case use your shift f3 change it to uppercase and make sure it's aligned with this just bring it down a bit and boom this is what you're going to have so the next thing i'm going to do is import another picture of the corpus this and place it over here then right click on it and select power clip power clip inside this frame and select edit power clip over here and scale this up take it to the top and um, use your interactive view to sorry use your interactive transparency to drag this over here to fade the down part fade it up all right so the next thing we're going to do is go to bitmap and select mode then use your grayscale then select this node the white one then reduce the opacity if you're using another um, version of Corel draw you might not see it this way so you're used to your version so you know what to do all right guys so the next thing i'm going to do is copy this duplicate this and bring this over here uh-huh then scale this up i know the most complicated part of this design is this um ribbon here but you guys will understand i'm going to put the link to this down below so you can check it out so the next thing i'm going to do is use my ellipse tool sometimes you can call it over and bring it down and um, draw this make sure it's fitted at the center all right so next thing i'm going to do is import another picture of the corpus and um, bring it over here then power clip this picture inside this frame that's the ellipse to the ellipse shape we've created or the cycle all right so right click on it select power clip then place it over here once you do that you'll see an arrow so just bring the arrow to where you want to power clip and left click all right so right click again select edit power clip and um, scale this up and boom this is what we are going to have so guys i believe you understand this and this is how i designed this wedding jota so for those of you asking for this ribbon on the dm i'm going to email you the ribbon if you want but i'm also going to put the link you can download it there and make use of it so guys this is quite simple and complicated anyway but i'm sorry if it's if it's confusing to you if you have any question just drop me a question in the comment section below don't forget to like this video share it practice 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 always practice you're gonna catch the all right guys there's no shortcut to this always practice all right and thanks for watching this video thanks for stopping by to this channel and i wish to see you next time see you guys in my next video and thanks for watching Bye.